Tuesday, Motivation Movers. It is your girl, the one and only Coco Renee. Yes, honey, she is here from the Midday Boss Show on Rise Radio, the global station. Let me tell y'all, God is good. Let me hurry up and get through this field because I got to give y'all like a quick, quick update, okay? God is good. He's doing amazing things. The Rise Radio global family is expanding. We are growing. We are branching off and we're international and here to stay. So you guys are just saying, seeing just the beginning of something monumental about to happen. I'm not even going to get into anything else. You guys will see it in due time if you guys stay on board. So make sure you guys are tuning in every single day to the Rise Radio Global Station on the TuneIn app. And now, God is so good, he allowed us to be able to have our own app to download, honey. So you don't have to just go through the platform of TuneIn. You now could just download it on your regular Play Store um, within your Play Store on your phone. So if you got Android, smartphone, iPhone, doesn't matter, just go to your Play Store. Go ahead and put in Rise Radio Global, and that's Rise with the Z as in Zebra. Y'all should know this by now. And once you guys uh, get that information all uploaded, then you guys can tune in to some of the finest, best music that, uh, you know, R&B, hip-hop, old school, new school has to give. Yes, we have some of the most phenomenal, talented DJs on the station. So you guys, don't miss out. Don't, don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself to some good music, okay? All right, moving on. Speaking of all these wonderful things that are happening, um, Midnight Bosses is expanding too. We have so many different entities that are now growing and expanding. So now we have the Junior Midnight Bosses TV cracking, okay? Yes, I have uh, my kids running the Junior Midnight Bosses TV. Let me tell y'all something, okay? Something that you can do that is so empowering to a child is give them the business sense to build and invent their own, okay? So my kids, they are always doing some amazing things, some things I didn't even know they was doing. They would put together these videos. They would edit them. Mom, we want to show you our video. So they kept on showing me all these different things. And after a while, I realized, wow, God is really good. My kids have definitely the, the apple don't fall far from the tree because we have a family of very talented people, musicians, artists. And my kids is right along with them because they have a lot of amazing talents and acting skills and charismatics and characters. So when I seen this, I said, you know what, let's put this into something that will be beneficial to the kids. They begged and begged to have their own little show. I decided let's start them a uh, YouTube channel. So that way, instead of my kids watching some grown people play video games, they can encourage other kids to do some things as well. You know what I mean? So by them putting out their uh, different mini adventures and some of the uh, different, you know, things that they put together, whatever it is that they do, the do-it-yourself crew, okay? Allow them to uplift another child their age to do something as well that could be inspiring and motivating, right? Yes, we're here to uplift. So yes, with that, um, also moi, last but not least, I do have my own station now, and this is strictly for music. So for all my music lovers who is uh, very interested in all of the, um, the upcoming things that I have going on, upcoming songs I'm working on, uh, freestyle flows, whatever it is that you're into. If you guys are on the Coco Renee, She Rhymes train, hit me up. Y'all check me out on my YouTube channel, She Rhymes with the Z as in Zebra TV, okay? And um, yes, Midnight Bosses, in conjunction with the Junior Midnight Bosses and also with the She Rhymes TV. And then we have so many other things in store. You guys just don't even know the half. So make sure y'all tuning in to all this stuff. Don't forget Instagram, Facebook. We have the IGTV cracking. We have it all cracking. And due time, you guys are going to see Midnight Bosses in stream world. You guys are going to see us and you guys are going to say, wow, I remember when that lady was running her mouth on that YouTube channel and now look at them now. They up there doing some things, that part, okay? All right, so moving on. Today's show is really about the kids. Um, that's why I've been really pumping up, you know, motivating the kids because I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to share a little something about me. Growing up as a kid, I had, you know, a great mother. She was a single mother. She did the best that she could. My dad wasn't really around as much as he should have been. He was, you know, just like some of the other fathers we see out here. You know, they come in, they come out. 
They want to be there when you get older, you know, and then start trying to play more of a vital role as you get older. And by that time, you've already grown, established with your own family, you know. So I kind of went through that type of childhood. Um, I always had both of my parents there, but really my mother's always been the primary one there taking care of things, period, point blank. Now, um, with my mom, the upbringing that my mother had coming up as a kid, it wasn't, you know, a fairy tale story. So we'll just say, you know, she didn't grow up in a horrible situation, but she grew up in some very, very um, unfortunate situations, you know, and, and events as a kid that kids should not ever go through. And those things, you know, clearly molded her to be the woman that she has grown to be today. Okay. She's been, she's a phenomenal mother. And at the end of the day, my mom has sheltered us, protected us from a lot of things out there in the world. She's always um, kept it clean, rated PG, never brought men in and out of the house after she divorced. You know, she was really always a woman of class, okay? But my mom lacked the affection because she didn't grow up having that as a kid. So for her, she didn't know how to be as affectionate. Didn't mean that she didn't sh tell me she loved me. My mom told me she loved me. She gave me hugs and kisses, but I didn't get it as frequent as maybe some other kids may get where parents is constantly, you know, I love you and showing affection and, you know, congratulating you and praising you for the things you do good. I had a different upbringing. So of course that develops me to be a different type of individual and in how I raise my kids. And I vowed to myself, I was not going to be the parent that pushes my kids away, doesn't show them love, doesn't communicate with them. So I have worked extremely hard to do the opposite of the upbringing and some of the things that I've experienced as a kid. And my husband as well, we talk about these things all the time. But one thing I, I want to kind of put out there is, you know, you talk to many people about family life, raising kids, you interact with other parents, you meet your children's parents, you know, children's friends' parents, I'm sorry. Um, so then you're now engaging with different parents and different perspectives and different, you know, ways of doing things. And our kids is out here suffering. You know, this is really, is really disturbing how much as parents, we're not stepping up to the plate that we can. I mean, just the extra time to communicate, just the extra time to love on your child, to, you know, see how your child's day is going, to be involved in their day, be involved in anything that they're doing. Um, it's detrimental, you guys, because we have our kids... We have kids that are so stressed out right now that they're going to school taking the stress of what is going on at home and the weight of the world, the shoulders, you know, the weight of the world on their shoulders. That's what I'm trying to say, you guys. They have that, you know, on them so tough, plus whatever they're going through ex as far as the experience at home, they're coming to school and they're taking that out on other kids. Then you end up having children that are bullying other kids. Sometimes the situation goes into a depression where and it just goes beyond the bullying and now you have kids coming to protect themselves at school or kids fighting back with weapons or it even gets so far as kids getting so depressed because of the stress and the levels of it that they start committing suicide. We are now living in a time where our kids are exposed to, you know, murders and suicides on live feed social media like it's nobody's business. When I was growing up as a kid, there was no social media. Growing up as a kid, for me, social media was going outside to play and telling such and such what such and such said. That was our social media. We didn't have Facebook, Instagram, and all this other stuff that reported every single thing that was going on. We now live in a world where our kids is becoming numb to the stuff that is going on because they are so exposed to it and so used to seeing it that it's an everyday thing. We need to start getting into... Um, getting on top of our stuff, parents, not even if you're not a parent, if you're an aunt, if you're an uncle, if you're a big cousin, um, whatever your role is, and you have children that look up to you, respect you, love you, they're your family. It is your responsibility as well to step up to the plate and do your due diligence to talk to them. Ask them how their day is going. Give them feedback and suggestions in a positive way on how they can maneuver and be able to grow from whatever situation they're going through. But we need to do our job and talk to our kids. That's all I'm saying. Because we are, are definitely in a, a time where our kids are, they're really, really suffering. And you can see it. And they are literally the generation that is ahead. And if this is what we're doing and how we're raising our kids, I fear for my future. I fear for my children's future. If this is the generation ahead. So we got some work to do, y'all. Let's start with this prayer. 
first and foremost, let's let's get our prayer in. All right. I'm about to go because, you know, it's about to get serious. I get all serious, you know, when it comes to the kids because Auntie Coco love the kids. And um, they really, really mean, you know, a lot to me. And I want to see our kids grow and be successful. I just want the best for them. And I want us to work as a village to make it happen. All right. On that note, y'all, I got to go. I love y'all. I hope you have a blessed evening. And until next time, toodles. Thank you.